Pakistan Air Force has maintained its tradition of professional excellence throughout its history. Today, Pakistan Air Force has very lethal firepower and has the capability to strike deep into the enemy territory. Pakistan Air Force carries out training camps that give its pilots the experience of dropping actual bombs and fire air-to-air -air missiles. This film is about one such live firing camp. Before the mission commences, the pilots attend detailed briefing session. Briefing is carried out to discuss all mission requirements, actions to be taken in case of any contingency, and to remove all doubts about the mission. Meanwhile, the aircraft are being prepared according to the mission requirements. A well-trained maintenance crew under the supervision of the squadron engineering officer loads the weapons on the aircraft. Air Chinese A-5 aircraft are being prepared for the mission. AIM-9P missile is being loaded on the aircraft. The A-5 aircraft has two 23mm guns with a firing rate of 1900 rounds per minute and it has a capacity to carry 250 rounds which are being loaded in the aircraft belly. The Mirage fighter bomber aircraft is of French origin. A variety of mission specific armament can be loaded on the aircraft. Mirage also has the capability to carry two cluster bombs under its belly. When the maintenance crew have loaded and serviced the aircraft, the pilots get ready for the mission. They don G-suits to reduce the effects of high G-loads during maneuvers in the air. The pilots approach their respective aircraft for the mission, where the ground maintenance crew help them to get strapped up inside the cockpit. The pilot puts on his helmet and plugs in the oxygen and communication system connections, which he will require during the mission. The pilots of A5, F7, Mirage and F16 aircraft have started the aircraft for the mission. The aircraft are taxiing out and approaching the runway. The A5 formation has commenced the takeoff roll and is getting airborne. Two ship F7 aircraft are the next group to leave the ground. The Delta Wing Mirage aircraft engages its afterburner for the takeoff. F-16 aircraft, the most potent modern-day aircraft in PAF inventory, is the last one to get airborne. Before the firepower demonstration 2001, two F-6 aircraft passed the stand carrying the national and PAF flag. This is followed by a mixed formation of one aircraft of each type of the PAF frontline fighters. Here you are watching the aircrafts led by F-16 in the center. On the left is F-6 and A-5 aircraft and on the right side are the Delta Wing F-7 and Mirage aircraft. The formation after two fly past will now disperse after a bomb burst maneuver in which the aircraft will break the formation to fly off independently in different directions. The F-16 has pulled up and dispensed a flare carton. Senior officials of the Civil and Defence Forces witness the show of superb flying and demonstration of the magnificent firing power of the PAF fighter aircrafts. The first demonstration is of ground-to-air firing for the cartridge, which is to be used for shoulder-mounted Hamza missile that is made in Pakistan. In air-to-air -air missile firing, F-16 Fighting Falcon will fire air-to-air AIM-9L missile. Now you see the all-weather Mirage aircraft firing Sidewinder missile at the target. Indigenously modified A-5 aircraft is now capable of firing air-to-air -air missile. The second Mirage aircraft is firing the Matra missile. Air F-7P is seen in action. As it is firing at an aerial target in air-to-air -air missile attack, the action is a success. The second A-5 aircraft also scores a direct hit. Next is the F-6 aircraft firing an AIM-9P missile. And finally, FT-5 trainer aircraft modified for air-to-air -air configuration.
After air-to-air -air firing, live delivery from air to ground was carried out. Here comes the Mirage aircraft of the Pakistan Air Force, dropping MK-82 bombs. It successfully attacks the target and gets a direct hit. These Mirages will now attack a simulated runway as their ground target and drop Duranil bombs which are used to wreak havoc to the enemy runways from low altitude. As the bomb is released from the aircraft at high speed, a parachute is deployed to slow down the bomb and lower its nose to a steep dive angle. Then a rocket motor accelerates it to penetrate under the surface of the runway where it explodes, making a deep crater of 20 to 30 meters all around. Here comes A-5 aircraft to deliver their load. A-5 is a good surface attack aircraft and is used against ground targets with bombs. The F-6 aircraft is making its shooting stands and makes a rocket attack which hits the target directly. Finally, the F-7 aircraft is going for a rocket attack. After the armament exercise, the aircraft are seen returning to their respective bases. The A-5 aircraft is now approaching the runway for landing. The Mirage has turned finals for landing. The landing lights indicate that the landing gears are down and locked and has a speed of 175 knots or above 200 miles per hour. The F-7, after touchdown, has deployed the drag chute to slow down the aircraft prior to applying wheel brakes. The drag chute is heat resistant and can be reused for the next mission up to 40 to 50 times. F-16 aircraft has a comparatively lower landing speed and therefore only use the air and wheel brakes for slowing the aircraft after landing. The aircraft have cleared the runway and are taxiing back to their pens where the maintenance crew received these aircraft. The pilot, after coming out of the aircraft, write in the aircraft's documents and debrief the maintenance crew of any abnormality in the aircraft during the mission. Each mission is followed as seen by a detailed debrief of all the pilots and how they performed in the mission. The mistakes are discussed and remedial measures are taken to avoid recurrence in future. Pakistan Air Force is known today for its discipline and professional competence and recognized by all for its professional excellence and the expertise of its pilots. It can be compared with any other modern Air Force in the world of its size. It has certainly lived up to the expectations of the Qaeda in order to ensure that Pakistan should not be at the mercy of any aggressor and should strive to be second to none.